Hello everybody, welcome your lovely faces back to another edition of the Bust and Bash podcast. Very special edition indeed today, as we are coming at you with a Q&A session about the movement. You guys have been sending us your questions over the last 24 hours or so, uh, and we're going to be answering all those today, all your queries, all your concerns, anything that you had to ask about the movement, we're going to be answering all of that here live right now. And you may be watching this on YouTube as this will be uploaded to YouTube afterwards. Uh, so hello, YouTube viewers as well. Uh, joined today by Rom, of course, as usual. How you doing, Rom? Oh, dude. No, it's, 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 it's a new day. Yes, it is. It's but still, day. it's still, all of you still suck so much. <laughs> ah, and especially the YouTube crowd. My God, you guys stink. Ah, but not as much as our guest today, uh, Mr. Big Boy Emo. Stigma, how you doing? How you doing, Rom? How you doing, Cam? Thanks for having me back. <laughs> it's a pleasure. I uh, hope everyone had a good weekend. Uh, had a lovely weekend. And I uh, hope you enjoy the stream. Hope wow. I answer what all your a, questions. What a amazing monotone introduction. I Shut love up. this guy. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is going to be easy. Well, yeah, dude, listen. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be frank. These past 24 hours, I was not expecting that reaction. I mean, I was expecting a reaction, obviously. But, dude. You got to admit, this was more overwhelmingly positive than we thought we'd be able to reach. It's just, it was great. It was great. Yeah, it's been uh, an insane reaction. Like like Rom said, we were expecting a reaction, but the super positive reaction that we've had over the last uh, two days or so since the movement was announced has been absolutely phenomenal. So thank you very much, guys, for all of that. It's been pristine, top notch. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, freaking emo. Uh, but listen, <laughs> listen, listen. We all know that there, you know, we tried our best to be as narrow as possible in that announcement video. But just like Cam said, there will be some people who have some questions. And that's why we're having this special edition of the Bust and Bash podcast so we can actually address some of these questions. And actually, to be frank, there are some questions that could have led to some concern if we didn't address it. So if anybody, Anybody at all has some questions, even in the future, I'll be more than happy to answer them via Discord, via Twitter, whatever. But for the Bust and Bash podcast, we've got some uh, more universal questions and more general answers ready for you right now. Absolutely, yeah. So got some of the most important questions we feel that you guys have asked us over the last 24 hours since we announced this. And uh, if you guys here in the live chat right now have any questions... Feel free to drop in the chat and we'll try and get to them towards the end of the podcast if we've got some time. So, want to jump straight into it, boys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. All right, Gucci. So, first question that we got, and this was coming from quite a few people. Got individual shout outs for a few of these questions, but a lot of them did come from a lot of you. So, uh, this is one of those. And that is what is each of your three roles as part of the movement? So, who wants to kick us off? Oh. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Shall I do the honors? Oh, fine. Oh, no, fine. no, Rom has to do it. All right, you go first, Dylan. <laughs> All right, let me speak about yours truly. Uh, you can call me the Don or the Hawkeye, whatever. Rom, baby, is head charge of FAM production, head, the Don of that shit. Uh, basically, I'm going to be overseeing all of the FAM productions, including finalizing the scripts, storylines, and yes, the dreaded final edits that have me pulling out the remainder of my hair. Ah, but more or less, you know, uh, Romy going full throttle. That's basically it. My Rom's full throttle on that production side. Uh, I'm more of like the, the soft center in between you guys because you're both the, the pillars of each thing and I'm more the kind of the graphic side. Um, I did the movement logo along with Cameron with uh, the help from him as he's a graphic designer too, but uh, my role mostly is to oversee all the graphics for the shows, both FM and JF, um, JM, maybe a little bit of JM. Yeah, JM as well, just just overseeing of the movement. So that's kind of my role mostly for that. Call it Jeff AM. <laughs> Jeff AM. Jeff AM. <laughs> Jeff a movement. <laughs> I'm a Jeff a movement. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Yeah, Rob's head of FAM production, uh, Stigma's head of graphics, and 
I'm head of JM production, of course, as uh, I'm sure you all guessed, uh, in charge of overseeing all that, all the finalization of scripts, storylines, final edits, and uh, so on and so forth. And, uh, and then I'm also in charge of overall quality control of uh, the entire movement, that's both JM and FAM, as well as uploading, scheduling, and planning all of the movement-related content and events. So, uh, yeah, nice mixed bag here. We've all got our own separate camps so that we can uh, focus in on one particular sort of area to make sure that this ship sails smoothly. Imagine oh. if one of us had to do all three of these things. <laughs> not funny oh hell no 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 dude listen this let you know fam is a crap ton of work added in it by itself cam and even stigma knows about this but then you gotta add in not only jm into the mix but along this will also tie into one of the questions we have but just the general content we have planned no we can listen it's not a one-man job no way and of course we've got Amazing teams underneath uh, all of us on top of uh, so Ram obviously doing the FAM production. We've got an amazing team of FAM production team members underneath him, uh, including production assistants, editors and recorders, audio engineers, graphics guys, and creation suite specialists. And then same thing on the JM side of thing. Great team of people on the recording, editing, creation suite specialists, graphics, audio, and so on and so forth. So shout out to those guys as well as they are making the butter, as we say. They are indeed Burning making the butter. butter. Oh, yeah, the juicy stuff. Ah, can't do anything without them. Well, besides yelling at them, I still can't do that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Stigma, we, oh, Stigma, on the other hand, this guy has uh, two basketballs to dribble. This guy is both now looking over, well, quality control in just the graphics department from both JEM and FAM. You know, not, nothing too big, nothing too big, right, Stigma? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I've always done graphics. I, it's actually quite nice to come back and do graphics for FEM again. It's quite, it's quite nice because it's well, I've missed so much. I've been away, um, well, like seven years, eight years, or something like that. It was been a long time. Um, but yeah, I remember like making the logos back in the day, um, back in. 2011, 2012, I think roughly. I started out mostly then, so I've been doing graphics for about 10 years um gonna relearn illustrator i think and try and just get a little bit better because there's some things that i wanted to do in photoshop that i just couldn't do that's easier in illustrator so yeah i want to try and get better i think back then it was like me trying to um be better at doing that and uh like learning as i was making these graphics so it's nice to come back and, and redo that um same thing Oh, well, there we go. That that's some good stuff. Uh, yeah. you know, for, for an emo, you're not too bad. There's a lot stuff. of work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sigma's always had a great uh, eye for graphics across everything that he's done. So to have him at the sort of front and center of, uh, like what I'm saying, the quality control of it and just uh, the overall planning, uh, the the graphics across the movement are just going to go to the next level. We've always had talented graphic designers. But a lot of those talented graphic designers have always need somebody to sort of do the planning side of them for them. Uh, Stigma is that complete package, so no. very good. You know, Stigma's the whole company. He, he is the you know CEO, COO, and just the workhorse behind that whole entire <laughs> shtick. This guy just just bullies himself for perfection. And you know what? As much as me and him don't see eye to eye in anything, I respect that. Oh, thanks very much, guys. And I obviously need you two to build me up because I'm terrible at it <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, i appreciate it yeah i've been doing it for a long time and you know i've to begin with i look back at the logos and i'm like oh they're ugly but you always start from somewhere and that's that's the main thing you know and it was a great platform to kind of grow and uh get better at um so yeah thank you and thanks for bringing me back you know i know it's not easy for you rome because <laughs> uh, much you yeah. hate me but you know it's uh, all right <laughs> listen listen I'm, I'm not a tough guy to please but that Briefcase filled with Unite money. Yo, that hit the spot. Thank you. Thank you, Stigma. <laughs> you money, you money. bribed me. You bribed me. Um, yeah. So speaking of uh, Unite money, let's uh, let's get to this question. This has been one that's come from a lot of people as well. 
And uh, that is, why is this different from Unite? Now, Unite slash Star Team is obviously something that's uh, pretty fresh in a lot of people's mind. That was one of the last iterations of this channel. Uh, FAM obviously became that before re-coming FAM, before now becoming the movement. Um, but yeah, why is this different? Obviously, this is a very important topic to a lot of people. Uh, I'll pass over to Rom here in just a second, because obviously Rom was a part of that, so we can go into a little bit of detail. But uh, just from my own perspective, I'm someone that even before the Unite process came into effect and became a thing, I was someone who wasn't a very big fan of it. I was someone who didn't think it could uh, be sustained long term. Uh, so, yeah, I was never a fan of it to begin with. So just from my own perspective, you can rest assured that those things are not something that I'm going to want to sort of include in the project that I'm working on going forward. Uh, so no one's going to be paying for anything. And on top of that, a lot of uh, content and a lot of things that maybe would have previously been behind some sort of paywall as part of Unite, uh, those things are just going to be free and regularly available for people. And we'll get into that a little bit later when we're talking about future content on the channel. I Very mean... Well. You pretty much freaking stole my, my momentum booster right there. I was going to say, well, for one, you don't have to pay for shit. So uh, thanks for that, Cam. You stole my little boost. But uh, yeah, he's right. You know, you won't, you're not going to be able to pay uh, for pretty much anything regarding uh, Unite. Or sorry, regarding FAM and uh, JAM in this regard. Uh, that's number one. Number two, the difference between FAM and Unite is that FAM is basically fulfilling the fallen promise of Unite, which was actually getting... The subscribers who actually paid originally two years ago, I believe now, you know, the show basically being featured. I think about 70-75% of the roster are NFAM, at least, are all former Unite members. So, you know, we're going to give it to them without them having to actually pay to actually be featured. So, yeah, not only are they actually featured, they're actually part of production. So... In a way, you know, we I basically have made it out to where, you know, we kept the promise. Uh, still, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I when I think about Unite, it's a very, very, very mixed bag for me now because of, not because of the way it started, it's just because of the way it ended, really. Uh, so that's why I said, you know what, I'm going to bring back FAM and do all this stuff. But man, when it came to the movement and JAM and putting everything together, then obviously getting this emo back in the chat and the group, like it now it just becomes more worded of my decision to bring everything back in, back in February. So yeah, that's the main difference. So no paywalls. The promise will finally be fulfilled. Uh, people are actually getting are, are learning production. Dude, the amount of times these guys, these poor kids, made a match and I told them to scrap it and do it all over again must have made them gone mad. And but that's part of getting better, better, and better. And you know what? Whether people like to say it or not, that was part of the promise of Unite. We're just teaching these people how to actually edit and pour for matches. So we did that shtick. Uh, but yes, it's still an excuse for me to yell at them because you know me, I love yelling, especially, you know, hurting and <laughs> basically ruining people's dreams because, you know, that's why I've been called on Twitter these past few months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, just to touch on the, the whole Unite thing, um, I wasn't around at the time um, watching it, but I did hear about it. Um, yeah, the, this whole like uh, payment scheme where, you know, you, you had to pay to, to to have a chance to get on the show, but not everyone got that chance or not everyone got what was promised on that kind of ground of like what you were meant to get from the stories I've heard. Um, but yeah, I figured like that kind of mentality of like you have to pay to get into the show, I just thought would, would have went really bad um, and end really bad. Um, but yeah, I, I'm the same as Cam and Rom, you know, like this is, you know, I think there was um, a genuine like love for for it to work and there could have been a maybe a way but i just think the whole payment scheme asking people for money for content like that was yeah just not my kind of i don't like that in video games you know like uh yeah. you, you know you, you roll the dice and you're like oh let's see if i get in if i can get in this episode or, or let's see if uh let's see if i've got this football player from fifa or, i don't know just stuff like that it's like rolling the dice and it's just it can be quite um toxic Right. You know, there are there, the money. right. There are some factors because, like you said, it was actually meant to be a genuine project, but there were three problems. Oh, yeah. Number one was the factor of the actual subscriber himself. 
Uh, there have been a lot of people who were actually going to be on the show and were, you know, but then had they had to be fired or canned or even just placed because of their attitude. And I would mm. say there was a there was a big factor in the overall uh, planning slash stages going forward. After that, and this is not the guys' fault. This, this is just the management's fault. Like we didn't put a cap or limit on people coming in. Like, dude, just imagine me every day after work coming in, and all of a sudden, hey, Rob, guess what? We got three new guys. You gotta come up with characters for right now, dude. I felt like you know that Mr. Krabs meme where he just looks around in a daze, like, oh, well, who are you guys? You know, it just. Every day, like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to fit in this stuff? Uh, that obviously had a major effect. The other one, and this was a very specific uh, turn of events where we, where people didn't even need to pay with real money. They were using, I forgot, what was it called? God box. It wasn't even real money. It was something to where they play games uh, and then get, like, this digital money, I guess, where they can use that to be part of Unite. And that was fine. And then, but when that shut down, completely we had to go to patreon that's where things got a little bit more messy a little bit too uh money-ish that's even a word money-ish but you get what i mean like that's where uh things started to tread on very very nice but after that you know it just came to a overall halt and uh yeah just people just a complete cluster so after that shtick ended i, I don't want to keep on rambling with all this stuff i brought fam back after all this shtick just to keep the promise and maybe eventually it was maybe roll of the dice and I think right now, with FAM, it's paid off. But I was not expecting this bonus with the movement. This is just... Whoa, whoa. Good call, Rob. Good call. In hindsight, you did good, Rob. You did good. I'm I just think this is that. ultimately going to be what everyone has ever, ever wanted. Like, whether... All, all the hopes and dreams that you had out of the Unite project, all the hopes and dreams that you were ever hoping from FAM, and all the hopes and dreams that you were ever hoping from JAM... All of those things can now be achieved and achieved tenfold uh, because of this new group and this new uh, system that we've created. So, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be a real dream come true for a lot of you. There you go. So uh, I would say dreams are about to come true. And you know what else is coming? Content, baby. Okay, should we go into that little debacle? Yeah, so you want to talk about the content that we got coming up uh, sort of post-March time, yeah? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to take the lead here and basically first, you know, reconfirm the obvious, you know. FAM, the season premiere, it's, it's simple. It's called The Return, right? Such an original title. Will be airing live on YouTube at basically, what, March 13th? Yeah, there you go. Saturday, March 13th. That way, people all over the globe will have no excuse. There is no school. There is no way you should be able to miss The Return, baby. So yeah, and trust me, it's a uh, it's a big chunk of work. This thing, it's a uh, it's really well put together. It's basically FAM standard, and yeah, you are going to love this. And that's just the beginning, my man. Like I said, that's reconfirmed date. After that, mate, what do you think we've been doing all year? Just just doing one event? Oh oh no, we've been working on a five hour pay per view. That's right, five hours. The first one. Five hours long, and it will be basically being, it will actually be done, I would say, one and a half to two months after the season premiere. So you're going to get stuff really quick and a story real big, really, 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 really soon. Oh, kicking off. When's that, uh, we got a pay per view coming up after the thing where you think that will come out? Like I said, I would think it will be around one and a half to two months after the season premiere, which is actually two months from now, right? Something like that. So there you go. Uh, Havoc. How big? How big, Rob? Ma I mean, sheesh. How big is Batista's? You know what? Uh, might as well just ask me that. Listen, uh, you know what? I'm not going to say it. The first show is three hours long. That's right. The whole episode is three hours long. And the pay-per-view, listen, it's a fam. It's, it's, it's not four hours. It's not four and a half. It's five. Five time. Five time. Five, 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 five. We ain't five enough, hours. man. I need five. I need five, baby. Five hours long, baby. And uh, there's a... You know, it's not five hours of just random matches with no quality control. This is one of the reasons why I even, you know, took so long to get this pay-per-view and show up because there was a lot, a lot of growing pains, not just from me, but from the production guys because let's be frank, you know, these guys needed to still learn a thing or two about Sony Vegas and the goddamn disabling resemble option. I can't go and get the detail that far. <laughs> But you all know who you are, all right? 
Click that. Whoever is here listening to us and is in charge of a show, disable the resample option on either Sony Vegas, Premiere, whatever. It will save you a, a hassle. Trust me. So besides that, we had to go through the growing pains of figuring out who, is, who can belong in uh, the roster. If this type of attitude is going to work with FAM, can this guy handle production? Can this guy can even, you know, be responsible with this type of authority? Like, yeah, so many stuff, so many stuff. We went through a whole year of arcs, as I'm sure as well Cam did as well. And even Stigma. I mean, <laughs> we've all mm. had our arcs in 2020, and now we've all come together full circle, reforming the movement. And ironically, circle is also both the JM and FAM logo. So there you go. Yeah, uh, one so, yeah. big happy family. Uh, but yeah, like Rom alluded to, obviously the pay view is going to be coming up in a month and a half, two months or so. Of course, there'll be lots of uh, videos leading up to that FAM pay view as well. Uh, following JM Unleashed in the next couple of months to follow, we will have episode five of Redemption coming up. Uh, and then on top of all the fun show related things we have planned, we've also got a couple of different things planned in April as well. We're looking at doing the first community day in April, and uh, we're also looking at a few other things that we won't touch on just yet. We're going to keep them a surprise, but uh, some stuff that you guys are really going to be excited about and some stuff that you guys are definitely going to be get uh, able to be getting involved with yourself. Uh, so it's going to be a real good time coming in April. Fun does not stop in March. Uh, it's going to consist of stick mine, a freaking sheep suit. Oh, yeah, of course. You would love that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. That would go up on some really, really, really cool websites. I, I, or DeviantArt. Or hell, even Rule 34 Stigma. Oh, yeah. You, I, I, I know your search bar on that stuff, you little, little dangerous man. You. <laughs> Rome's got a fetish for sheep, so. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, I'm a big fan of Andy Badwell, all right? But let's not go that far. And I'm Stephen Goodwill, is that it? <laughs> But you're not a fan of Stephen Goodwill. Ah, oh. and right. was a good guy. Not bad at all. <laughs> all right, Maybe moving, you hang out. <laughs> moving swiftly on from this sheep top. <laughs> sheep talk. Thank uh, you very much. On the uh, subject of redemption, I mentioned episode five will be coming shortly after Unleashed. Uh, from Sana Harlick on Twitter, he asked, will we see old JAM shows such as Redemption and Uprise uploaded to the movie? channel uh so obviously jm already has a somewhat significant library of content already we've got uh, jm in your house our first ever show which was then followed up by four episodes of redemption two episodes of uprise and a subscriber special event jm bash at the beach all of that content will be coming to the movement channel uh it's going to be coming in a few different ways they're going to be uploaded in a couple of different ways uh, over the course of the next couple of months. I'm not saying that all of it will be up ready for uh, in time for Unleashed, but some of it will be. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for how we're going to release that. We're going to make a little event out of it so that you guys can all sort of re-experience that together uh, in the same sort of live format that would have uh, it would have been experienced in to begin with. So lots of fun things come in in regards to that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know, compared to the previous activity in the channel, which was none, I think we are, we're, we're, we're turning things around. So uh, oh, don't yeah. worry about that. Oh, yeah. And it's yes, yes. Real I, active. Yes, yes. Look, you don't need to bury me, people. I bury myself every day. Uh, so please, please, you know, save yourself the trouble. <laughs> yeah, well, there's, there's, there is a, like a ton of content coming up, like even past March as well. Like we've got a lot of stuff planned even the stuff we're currently working on now which is kind of like ahead and and then amongst like what we're kind of dishing out um yeah we've got like you know promo packages and just like build-ups to like shows that are gonna happen there's a lot that we've got ready to kind of release as well that will be coming like very soon um yeah there's a lot of stuff coming <laughs> like a lot more than i actually know this it's hard to like keep up but like you know I think that was, uh, I was going to wait to like part of the question, but we'll get into it more. But like I joined in a little bit late compared to Rom and, and Cam. It was mostly Cam and Rom that came together. And then we kind of finalized by bringing me along uh, later down the line. So I'm doing a lot of catching up. I'm terrible at Discord. So just trying to work things out as well. 
I'm not really got much that needs to be done on my end, but like in the future, um, you know, I'm prepared to like do a little bit more um, bit by bit. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of content coming, a lot. So um, juicy, juicy content for you. Juicy all. content. Just uh, touching on one of the things you mentioned there in regards to uh, how this all came together. That's another thing that you guys have been asking us. How did the movement come to be? How did this idea come together? Why is FAM and JM now sitting on this same reband channel? Well, let us take you back to this very uneventful story that happened behind computer screens. Um, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, this one. This one's, uh, well, depending on how you want to phrase it, I mean, I I'll let you do it, Cam. I'll let you start off and then I'll do the abridged version because trust me, I think... You know, you know, we have a little bit of a different point of view and different experience, but uh, yeah, the story's the same, man. The story's the same, and you know what? I, I just, I didn't believe that we were actually gonna go on with it, but we went even higher. We went beyond shit. Uh, look, I can, I still can't believe I'm here talking about it with with stigma, dude. This one just just came out of nowhere. This is some Vince Russo swerve. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> So it starts with it being my master plan all along. Now nah, I'm joking. Um, oh, <laughs> freaking! I wouldn't you? be surprised. <laughs> oh, no, you freaking Madara from Naruto, who turns out I'm to have been a master these guys. Jesus, man, that's the one <laughs> thing I hate about freaking stories. I've been a mastermind all along. So many animes do that shit. Ah, ah, no. But true, trust me. It's uh, I think what we did was, in a in a sense, we controlled the controllable, and eventually it led to the impossible. There you go. But it just, uh, it all came together very nicely. So uh, obviously, I think yeah, we, we, we got to cast our minds back because this really all starts when uh, mm -hmm. JM is announced and subsequently FAM comes back. So I did a car contest towards the beginning of 2020. And at the end of that car contest, I announced that a little uh, project is coming out called FAM, an untold final chapter. Within 24 hours in response to that, <laughs> Rom has brought FAM back and said, anything <laughs> that guy is doing is not canon. It's not canon. You, you deserve it. You still deserve it to this day. Actually, to be fair, anything we do in this freaking game is not canon to WWE. So, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, uh, uh, but yeah, FAM came back then. So, FAM was back uh, along with JM getting ready to be announced. Uh, JM was announced on the anniversary of fam so jm shares the anniversary with fam march 15th um and then from there we uh, we did our thing fam obviously been working quietly in the background to get things going jm moving forward getting shows out uh somewhere along the way me and rom begin patching things up uh from that comes the birth of our podcast which went through uh, a couple of different iterations we went from it uh, originally being a pilot episode on the FAM channel to becoming its uh, own pre-recorded thing that was on, uh, that was like streamed here and then uploaded to YouTube. Now, obviously, it's a live thing. And uh, yeah, just by spending this sort of time together, talking about things, talking about our shows, uh, this is where the idea for the movement really came to be. Uh, Rom was talking to me a lot about the potential of me uh, helping out with the FAM side of things again. Obviously, I've got a, a lot of experience there on the uh, management side of things, the production side of things, just making sure everything runs smoothly and runs nicely. Um, and from that, it just sort of came together that uh, not only could I do that for FAM, but I could we could also bring JM to the mix and just create something bigger than either of the things currently existing and just Something bigger than what most of the community will have ever seen before. I don't think anyone has ever done something like this to this extent. And um, I, I just know this is going to be one of those ones that's not just going to be a quick flash in a pan. In six months' time, it's all over because something happened. Uh, a lot of thought went into this, a lot of process, a lot of making sure certain things could happen went into this. And uh, because all those things happened, because this wasn't rushed, because... That took we took the time to do those things. Uh, that's why this thing is going to succeed compared to other things that have happened in the past. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, just to abridge it, I think this is uh, well. This is basically Cam's story, and it's true. But 
on that call, mm -hmm. I think Cam was 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 drunk, and I was going nuts. And I think we just said, you know what? Let's go back to where things were. Let's let's change the world. And uh, you know, uh, we were kidding, but then you know, we eventually, step by step by step by step, you know, we found a little bit of a way where we could work together. And you know, you know, because understand this, FAM and JEM, even though they share the characters, even though they share, you know, a lot of a lot of aspects. They are two different entities at the same time. So incorporating that and basically making a whole channel of it the way it is right now took a little bit of planning, you know, and I wasn't sure we were ever going to be able to do it or hell, even if the people were going to accept it. And as a matter of fact, that announcement video, we were, while we were streaming it uh, two days ago, we were having a little bit of a, you know, I wouldn't say uh, a little bit of a gambling feeling, but at the same time, we weren't 200% sure. We were making anxiety jokes like, eh, is this going to work? Yeah, yeah, for sure, buddy, for sure. But man, the reaction was spontaneous. It was great. It was phenomenal. And I think, you know, we rolled the dice and the dice, you know, came out all side six. We have everything covered and we did it as great and we did it as carefully as we planned it out to be. And, you know, we uh, here we are. And uh, of course, Stigma, you know, you know, stuck his nose in and, you know, joined us as well. I can't forget that part. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's how the movement was born. Just two, well, one crazy Maltese guy, one freaking drunk, crazy British guy. Just, 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 just saying. You know what? Let's do it. Do it. Let's do it. There you go. And there you go. We did it. Yeah, Stigma can tell you how Rom brought him into the mix, but uh, Rom basically <laughs> messaged me and said that uh, Stigma was uh, gonna be like a leader uh, ahead of FAM. And a, a knock on for that, I was like, well, why doesn't he just be a leader of the, the entire thing with us? I think that's a really good face, uh, another really hardworking guy, guy who changes the game with the content he's producing. So, yeah, it just fits in really well. I got to tell the story of how that actually came through. Please, Stigma. Oh, I suppose so. I kind of <laughs> stuck my nose in and smelled what the rum was cooking and was like, <laughs> cooking something. Oh, I yeah. haven't I haven't heard this yet. <laughs> so, uh... I just yeah, yeah, okay, go on, go on, you tell the story. All right, okay. It's a very basic story too. It's not like you know, this guy went to a bar and then all of a sudden, no, no, it's it's very basic. Uh so Stigma basically got the I think he got the bite, the itch, the whatever you want to call it, to 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 do something more for FAM or whatever he wanted to help. And uh yeah, we'll you know, that, yeah. you could say that. And uh, <laughs> eventually, uh he uh, he said, hey, Rob, uh, can I get in a call with you? I want to talk about some stuff. I'm like, yeah, sure. But hey, Stigma, I'm butt naked in this bathtub, baby. You sure? And he's like, fuck yeah. So uh, me and Stigma <laughs> basically had a bus high business call while I was freaking butt naked in the bath, just soaking into the water. Like, ah, oh, yeah, Stigma, keep on. Keep on saying the good stuff that I want to hear. And that's how it worked, man. And after that, he went straight to Cameron Bash and evolved from not just working behind the scenes, but working in, F in not in FBM, but in the movement in general. Like, we just, we, instead of having the three musketeers or the three amigos, we basically formed an entire castle called the movement. And it all came from you, Stigma, calling me while I was in my bath spot naked. How does that feel? Um, uncomfortable i guess uh, yeah, i don't good know for you. Um, <laughs> no fine um yeah i'm glad you were having a a relaxing night while i was talking to you you know about <laughs> those things but um yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wish I, i'm gonna do the same to you next time i'll just we'll facetime it'll be all bubbles you know oh you oh have oh. a little glass of like wine i don't drink wine anymore but you know yeah um no but the, this my side is a little bit different a little bit but um yeah people know that i'm already part of jam um way back then when uh, it came to i think it was the call contest we started talking and um got involved with jam straight away and made a different uh character from what i've got on my channel um an altered version of my character and uh he might be like the, the kind of older guy so yeah i think it just came from that Obviously, I hadn't been so in touch with what Jam's doing um, from a lot of the stuff. Cam does a lot of the work anyway, but, um, you know, dealing with my project that took up much longer than intended really put a sour taste in my mouth. And uh, But Cam and Rom helped me out, and 
I think that was basically how I got started. It was this whole just, you know, just big nuclear hit onto my whole creative process and my whole production where, you know, I was making this this video, this match, this, and, uh, and it was just big hellhole. But uh, those guys dragged me out, and then that's what made me feel like, you know, I could I could work with them because we were bouncing off each other with ideas, just different things, different projects in a way. Oh, could you quickly do this? Oh, what, what could you help me with this? And, you know, and like, oh, what do you think of this when I was showing you my match? And, you know, we just had a really good uh, work chemistry. And when they asked me, well, when Ron <laughs> asked me to be part of FEM, um, you know, I I looked at things like the logo and stuff. And uh, I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying I had a different yeah, vision and I wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Dude, that I had ego, a though, vision. that fucking ego. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. That was my idea. I wanted my bird. Okay, give yeah. me my bird. And that's what I legit told the guy. Give me my bird. And, uh, I still miss the bird, but you know what? Stigmas, hot, spicy, circle, hot dog, hamburger, whatever you want to call it. I take it over the bird any day. So there you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I made like, uh, I just, I went by basically what the logos looked like before and then i, I just the applied logo. um like my era's logo that that circle one with the fm in the middle of like the lot of red and then the very obvious black this logo is a great sort of tribute and update to that yeah. and, and that's what i love about it exactly that's exactly what it was i was i wasn't trying to make something new because i was sick of seeing like yeah the you know the the one with the ego and stuff they look they look really nice, but it just didn't feel like FVM. It was like a total rebrand, and I wanted to kind of take it back. Um, that's why I think we were going through so many logos. There were so many cooks in the kitchen, and there was not really enough direction. I think that's why Rom and Cam decided to bring me in, because I do have a, you know, it might not always be the right answer or everything, but I do my best, and I always have an answer, a direction, a motive to go to, and I think that is what was missing. Um, so, you know, I'm not bashing the old logo. I wasn't saying I, I could do better. I just felt as though I could represent the brand a little bit better because I have done before and I see where it's going now. And, you know, it didn't really take much for me. No one asked me for the logo. I just made it. I didn't even know he was going to use it. I was just, hey, Roma, you moved this for you. Um, I think I gave it to you like two days before Christmas or something. And then you just went, holy shit. Why? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you loved it. And, it was great and yeah i made different variations of it so you can um i'm going to do that with the movement logo as well when i get a chance and just have like this kind of um consistency with the look the brand and just so people can get a feel so when you see like a new video come up and it's got the thumbnail it's you know it's fem and when it's jam you know it's jam um so yeah yeah that's, that's all there is to it um and that's how i kind of joined the crew <laughs> yeah listen the stigma basically he just gave me the honestly and this is true stigma gave me the only christmas present anybody gave me legit uh you, you, you gave me a good christmas present you you sent me the passwords to all the channels on christmas eve <laughs> yeah that's right but no, you know only stigma gave me something like I, I i i i i used to remember back in the days back in 2014 when i had a birthday Stunned off with freaking surprises. Like, hey, birthday video for Rob. And I used to tear up so bad. Oh, I miss those days. But you know what? I, th I think that gives people a good idea of sort of uh, the timeline of things. So, like, uh, Christmas, that's when the, the Rom got the logo. That's when I got the passwords to the channel. That's when we're sort of moving forward with the idea of the movement. So, I think probably around November is when it sort of came to be. Is that when we started planning things? Something like that. I do think we were uh, about to, uh, at least the, the, the idea was to have uh, JAM and FAM, uh, at least some of the JAM stuff on the FAM show, perhaps the pay-per-view. But then eventually we just said, why are we holding back? You know, the stigma joined the crew and said, yeah, why are we holding back? We should even not only feature each other's show, but go above and beyond and work together on making content for everyone. So here we are, you know. Absolutely. Here and, we are. Um, it brings us nicely on to uh, another question that you guys have had for that us, um, and that is, uh, let me see exactly how you guys pitch that. Uh, so two different questions actually. Will other projects be involved as part of the movement? 
And will the movement be just car shows or other WWE games related content as well? Um, I good think question. for the time being, yeah, very good question. Uh, I think for the time being, it's uh, what you're going to see uh, to begin with is FAM and JM. We don't want to overcomplicate things too much out of the gate. We don't want to overwhelm people too much. Obviously, bringing two brands together is uh, quite a delicate and complicated process as it is. And uh, we've put a lot of things in place to make sure that that's done right and to make your viewing experience on the channel as easy as possible. Like, we want you to easily be able to know when you're clicking on an FAM video and when you're clicking on a JM video or when you're clicking on just a general sort of video that's maybe not related to either or. Um, so we're going to try and keep it simple to begin with. But yes, I do think down the line, uh, it could be possible that we would bring other things into the mix as well. Uh, I think the main goal with this platform, with this channel, is to deliver uh, high-quality, pristine WWE games-related content. Um, and right now, that's in the form of FAM. Right now, that's in the form of JM. But down the line, that could open up, and it could be done in many other different forms. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, like Cam alluded to, we're not going to open the floodgates on everything, but... You know, considering that FAM is about to have a season premiere and JAM already has so much content being delivered, I think, you know, you guys are about to have your bowls pretty much filled really quickly and pretty much repeatedly because, like we alluded to again, we have some plans for just one month. Look at how much we've discussed for just um, March and even April. Just, just so, just, just realize that, you know, you're going to be giving more and more and more and please don't be like oliver twist at the end and say please sir, may i have some more you're getting enough trust me trust me you will be enjoying and eating this like it's basically unlimited ice cream so uh yeah don't worry about it yeah i mean uh th there's a lot of content anyway you know um so i don't think we're looking to kind of make anything new um as of yet um Maybe a possibility in the future. Uh, we haven't really s discussed that entirely, but yeah, I think so far we've got Jam, we've got FAM. Those are two big um, content machines. There, um, they're going to generate like shows and pay per views, and uh, I don't think really, um, unless you want to put like podcasts up there, like our podcast, maybe maybe that would be something different. Um, but yes, yeah, so certain like trailers and stuff will build up to events and pay per views. Um, other than that, I don't think we're gonna be doing anything else. You know, we've we've got a lot, so there's there's not really we're not in need for more. So um, we're just gonna perfect and finalize everything that we've got now, and then we can see what where we go in the future. Are we in any position yet to talk about um, something that you have planned? And just to allude to that, e even if we're not ready to talk about it, uh, this is one of those things that. I think you guys will be excited for because this is one of those pieces of content that we're we're planning right now that was behind a paywall for Unite that we're just looking at doing for completely free on the channel for everybody here as part of the move. So uh don't know if we're ready to talk about that yet, but um that's gonna be awesome either way. Yeah. What what was the, um what was it? The the paywall thing. The thing that you're working on, the little Oh me! Oh yeah, yeah, I can talk about that. Yeah, of course. Um, we've we've discussed it a few times. I've got I've got a few things that uh, I wanted to do. I don't know how many of you that would probably remember back in the day and when when FEM was on like the Facebook page and it was like SVR eleven, uh, W twelve or something. I did these um, these cards. These like it's basically everyone's character, everyone's call um, from FEM. And it would be a picture of their call, and then it would have their stats. It would just be like their name, age, if you know your character has an age, their finisher, um, where they're from, you know, and then you could have it as for you. Um, and I did it for free. Um, also, I was like going to make some banners as well, like some branding elements where, you know, like what Unite did. Um, but I was just going to do it for just this year. Hey, do you remember? Here you go. There's your. There's your badge of honor, I guess. There's there's something, and you don't have to put it on your account. It's just it was just something like I thought of and thought would be really cool. 
Um, so if anybody was wanting that kind of thing, then yeah, that's something I'm down the line. I'm going to try and do once I get used to everyone's characters and know everyone's names. And um, it's a bit jumbled up to me, but um, eventually I'm going to be talking to, well, hopefully talk to each individual member at, at least to get like some sort of um, background against them and tell them, tell me what you want as well. So I'm prepared to do make that effort. Uh, and work and make something nice and hopefully it'd be like a nice kind of starting point um to like our journey yeah 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 um yeah. yeah there's quite a few other surprises we'll have coming along the way as well in uh in regards to that uh yeah. so let's see let's see what other questions you guys have here ba -ba 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 -bum. How long will FAM The Return and JM Unleashed be from Mr. Hollywood? Rom already touched on The Return. What's that, three hours, Rom? Yep, three hours, exactly to the T. Three hours, baby. And uh, we're still, uh, we're probably about 50% the way through production in uh, for Unleashed. Uh, we work pretty quick, but uh, yeah, 50%. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have it done by the 27th, uh, and we'll have a better idea towards then of what it will be looking like. But it's looking between sort of three to four hours. So, uh, yeah, maybe it will land at the three and a half hour mark. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. From a few people, is Bash and Stigma back in FAM? Oh. Is that yeah. cause or if it's cause, I'm not unfortunately not back um, in FEM. Um, we haven't really we we've spoke about it briefly, but um, it's a little bit difficult for me to come back. Um, there's a few things, um, and there's already like you know, at, like I said, I've joined kind of late in terms of development as well. So I'm mostly focusing behind the scenes. I'm I'm part of Jam, so things are a little bit difficult right now but i think someday in the future you, you could possibly see them maybe next year the end of the year depending on how things go but right now i'm i'm going to focus on the graphics side at the moment but uh yeah i'll keep it in mind maybe one day you know, same sort anyone? of thing for me i guess um i obviously we're, we're here behind the scenes working on stuff but uh yeah in terms of on the actual show obviously things are in the development and um obviously i'm pretty uh, a, a lot of busy with uh, a lot of the development of the jm side of things so playing a character on another show probably not at the moment but i can definitely foresee uh that potentially happening down the line uh, and i could see uh I, I can envision a couple of scenarios where bash could come back into this world and uh and what he would be doing now so uh yeah who knows we'll see never say never yeah i've All got I a couple of scenarios as well um but maybe they're a bit too extreme for everything. Well, who knows? Well, who knows? But yeah, maybe maybe a conversation for another time. Uh, well, all I can say is, I miss your bash. That's all I gotta say. Are you in? Uh, are you in FAM, Rob? Uh, yeah, you in FAM? Uh, that's top secret information, fellas. What's your call it like? I don't know. Just some dumbass with sunglasses. I think I don't know. Oh, you still wear the sunglasses? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, still haven't figured out how to take them off. I think the only way you can take them off is if someone like Renick literally punches them off. So yeah, that's actually the only way it came up. So yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. And a fantastic way to break people's dreams, Stigma Camp. I you know, you had all these marks hyped up and then you just just broke them down like that. You know, I, I, you can hey, you know. I, I, I just being honest, like I just said there's a possibility. I'm not gonna say no, but is this not right now is the time um, for anything like that? Because I'm very strict when it comes, especially after what FEM did to my character when I was last year. Yeah, I'm going to be extra more strict about it. So it, you might come back. We'll see. Uh, maybe a different version of Stigma. We don't know. We've got a different version of um, Stigma and Jam. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I'm not really thinking too much about it. I'm focusing mostly on Jam and, and my own stuff. Uh, as well as doing all the graphics for these guys and the movement, and I'm going to be doing a lot more in video effects and uh, yeah, just a lot of stuff uh, for just to get the movement going. But yeah, so sorry if I broke anyone's heart, but you know, I'll mend it eventually, I guess. 
You heard that, folks. Now you have your permission to die. There you go. From Bane Stigma. <laughs> well, I won't bring him back. He can stay away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to keep on retelling that story until the end of time. Oh, yeah, I bet you will. Oh, yeah. Um, A couple more questions here in regards to uh, being in the movement, working in the movement, doing editing and whatnot. So uh, first off, we had this from uh, quite a few people. How do you join the movement or how do you join FAM? How do you join JAM? Uh, currently, our application uh, process is closed. Nobody is able to join at this current moment in time. However, after we're done with this month of content this uh, in March uh, and we go into April, we're going to be looking at uh, setting up a nice little how to join the movement video that will cover both FAM, JAM, and then subsequently, if you guys are just sort of looking to edit for the movement overall and you don't really mind what show you're working on, we'll also have uh, a section for that as well. So, all that's going to be coming up for you guys that are looking to join the movement. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's how you get things rolling. And uh, just to give you guys uh, from the FAM side of things, yes, everything is basically just like the JAM side of things. Listen, we've booked... An entire season, and it's really, it's very, basically very challenging for us to insert more people into the show slash pay per view, unless they just want to be, you know, uh, just some random guy getting beat up in an episode. That you know, I don't like that, and I don't want it to be unite either and just put them there with no point or or even to be frank, character value. So uh, I would say that we are definitely looking for more editors and pro uh, production guys. So uh, that's that's. That's obviously, you know, right there and then. However, I think Cam can uh, re remember this. I'm mostly the guy that wants to reward the people who work. As a matter of fact, I was the guy that basically when Cam joined the board, I was like, not only are you going to have a call, you're becoming world champion in your second pay-per-view. And that's because Cam did legit work the most out of any of the new guys that I've seen come true. So I made the call right there and then. So it's still the same mindset for FAM. If you come here and you're a production guy and produ you know how to write, I hate that shit. I know how to write. Like, come on, dude. I have these ideas. Like, that's I said that kids do that. That's fun time. Me and Cam, when we come with ideas, that's our break time. Our work hmm. time is going on Sony Vegas, editing this stuff, going through all your, like, listen, I'm not telling you guys you do all this stuff, but actual production will go a long way for a good first impression and a long-term impression too. So please, I'm spelling it out for anybody who is interested. Be someone who not only we can trust as a member, but so we can trust also to help us with the load. All right? So that goes a long way. Uh, what was I saying? So yes, you know, we are going to be opening a little bit uh, when it comes to some guys jumping into FAM because we do have some opening slots for characters, you know, since we had to uh, trim the fat these past few months. So there are still some open values. Uh, just depends on who is going to step up now, you know? But I would expect anything until... Uh... Difficulties there. My internet crash. So, uh, yeah, we're back. Uh, tweeted out the stream. Let everybody know we're back. My apologies about that. Uh, yeah. So, See? yeah. Where's, uh, where was we? I was just just basically telling everybody that you guys should be very ashamed of breaking their hearts. Not only of you guys saying that you're not coming back anytime soon in FAM character-wise, but you're also shutting the doors right down in front of them for the movement. How dare you? That's why your internet got shut down. Victory! Well, I just Victory. want to say there's a million other fantastic characters like these uh, across both FAM and JAM. There are just so many awesome characters on those shows that you guys are going to love. And if you've not been introduced to them yet, whether you're on the JM side coming over to the movement channel or you're on the FAM side, always haven't been there, now being introduced to JM, you're going to be uh, in love with these characters, okay? Can't Sorry, wait man. for you to meet them. Listen, that's the one thing me and Cam always wanted. Like, even if you guys have never basically understood FAM or basically just call wrestling in general, the characters that we are presenting to you are not like just wrestlers they are characters they are legit like you, you know you, you see them and you can immediately say oh this guy's that guy this guy's that guy this guy's that guy and, and in jm yeah, is turning even more to 11 which is crazy to, you know considering that we have a psychotic murderous chef at fam and we have um, a freaking mafia duo and the dawn 
And a JEM, in my opinion, it's a bit more crazier because not only do you have some characters that are, you know, already are known to be crazy, but then you also have these these counterparts to them to where it's a whole different dimension. Let's put it that way. Holy shit. In more ways than one. And trust me, what, what I just said right now, it's going to become more and more clear as to how I use the word dimension. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, I mean, like what Cam said, you know, there's great uh, great characters in each brand. You know, you've got like on Jam side, you've got um, people that stick out is Andre Delano, um, Jimmy Darrow, uh, Ryan Hunter, um, and on FEM, on. there's um, me, <laughs> me, uh, me and the, uh, the guys that have been well, chatting about were more of like behind the scenes where there's Omega and Yuri, they're the the production assistants they are and um, my boys, my big boys. Yeah. yeah, it's been really cool getting to talk to them and um, superstars that stick out to me. Coda Hale, I think one of them. Yeah, um, she's been a big one. I've seen her around as well. It's a great character, and um, you know, there's going to be a lot of characters come out, and I'm going to be interested. There's a lot of new characters to me that um, are looking awesome. So uh, yeah, and a lot of old faces maybe as well that could be on the show. Um, yeah, there's tons of like all these great characters that'll be lovely to enjoy again. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, good. And trust me, trust me, I understand there are a lot of concerns from people who are either new to FAM or to the new FAM. New to the new FAM. Wow, that's crazy. And new obviously new FAM, new to the new. Yeah, well, I think there should be a shirt right there. New to the new FAM. There you go. Uh but the way we are introducing these characters are not like, oh man, I gotta start fresh and start to know or learn about these guys before I get into it. Like, no, these guys immediately, once you see them, you're going to get hooked and you are going to be either cheering or booing for them or recognizing and you would want to buy a shirt from them instantly. It's pretty much the same way we uh, you were immediately got hooked with Reddick. Reddick only appeared once and you mofos acted like you've known that it was Reddick the entire time and you've been his biggest fans. The guy only appeared zero times, but... That's how much we've hooked you in with the character, all right? That you you guys jumped the bandwagon. Oh, yeah, you did. But trust me, it's not just one guy ruling over with the, with the freaking popularity, Renek at the time. You guys will be ruling over every character. And don't worry, they're not just new characters. I would say, like I said, 70% are Unite members and 30% are the old faces of FAM. Uh, and trust me, you will see new sides to the old people. And just to these new people, you will see them rise above everything and conquer the movement, if they should dare. But trust me, I'm still GM, all right? And nobody's going to take that away from me. Yeah, we'll see. Ah, Gucci, Gucci. Um, So another question that uh, a few people had about the movement was in regards to something we mentioned in the video uh, between FAM and JM members working on the opposite shows uh, and how that whole process is going to work, whether we'll approach them about it, whether it's going to be a situation where they have to ask. Uh, this will be something that we will uh, let you guys know about. Uh, we might have it be a situation where we, even if you're in one of the other shows, we get you to apply for the other one uh, and we, we do things like that. So, we're still working out exactly how that's going to lurk, how that's going to work, and how you guys will uh, get the opportunity to do that. But like we mentioned in the video, that will be something open to everybody, and everybody will get the opportunity um, in some sort of way, at least be considered to uh, work on the other show, if that's something they're interested in. Yeah, I got to apply to JEM too, you know? Yeah, exactly. So there you go. Uh, along with that, it's the same with FAM. You know, if the guys from JM want to uh, jump over, uh, to be fair, there are some people already who are on both shows, so it's really possible right there and then. So it's not going to be a process to where, oh, you know, it's going to take a long time to go through it and see if you're good. If you're from the FAM side or JM side, it's really a case of, you know, what you want to do, what what we can do for you, and uh, there, that's that's pretty much how it is. Especially now that we're all under one umbrella, and FAM, it's pretty much. Like, we are Marvel, or sorry, we're Disney, and we have all these freaking movies in different dimensions. We can always just work things out. Or hell, WWE, we're drawing SmackDown, you know? Only, you know, we actually have different brands. Dude, we, 
uh, we can't have a brand split. Oh, sorry, we can't have a draft because these these teams are in two different dimensions. Imagine that. <laughs> All right, now we got our draft pick. Oh, it's uh, it's tiny. He's going to jam. Jump on that portal. You know, it's uh, you can't do that. Holy crap! It's been, uh, basically. Wait, wait, can yeah. somebody hear me? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sorry about that. My mic uh, was uh, was muted. Yeah, we got I everybody on the spaceships. Hard. Everyone in the portal. Let's go to the other universe. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna be doing that, but listen, we yes. Imagine we Roman great. Jam. That'd be really weird, but I think you would fit in really well. Oh, to be honest. Oh, oh, I listen. I am J A M. I have a picture with Jinder Mahal while we were in the 2K event, all right? <laughs> and he, he, I photo bombed my own invited. photo, all right? While, while Cameron Bash, listen, Cameron Bash, I'm going to call you out, my man. You're a, a, a fake Jinder lover, all right? Because while we were in the 2K event, you went and danced with Snoop Dogg while Jinder Mahal was in the fan corner. Nobody <laughs> was talking to him with a WWE Championship around his shoulders, and I was the only one. Not you, nor Alex, to, to, to just say hello. He really loved my company so much. We spent two minutes talking about taking bumps in wrestling, and he took a picture with me. Actually, here's the other fun trivia. I didn't know how to take the picture. He took my phone and took it for me. <laughs> you're, like an old, you're like an old man. <laughs> oh, yeah. With this, I'm from Malta. This is the first time I actually, you know, it was the first year I actually touched, like, an iPhone or something, whatever. I don't even know what my phone is. I don't know. These, touch, these touch screens are the devil. Go back to buttons. Christ. Imagine if the freaking play console controllers are all touch screen now. You'd be a limit. So why are you only doing this with the phones? Ah, if you want to press A, you can't because it presses S. Ah, especially if you have a fat thumb like I do. My God. Uh, but yeah, yes, I'm a boomer, Daryl. Uh, and the balding one, too, apparently speaking. So yes, uh, Still, you know, we I don't even know what the topic was or what the question is, but I just have to point it out that uh, you are under fake leadership and a fake gender lover. There you go. Oh, we're talking about, like, crossovers between FM and Jam. <laughs> right. Well, Jinder Mahal is definitely going to be in JM one day because uh, uh, I'm going to make that a mission. Like, I'll, even if it's just like a cameo or just him saying... Uh, he's he going to be in JM. Don't you worry about that. Oh, no. So, yeah, Stay that's a guarantee. Pay -view, folks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's guaranteed. This is Jinder's homeland. This is more of his home than India is, all right? So, uh, he has be on the lookout. On the show as well. So, be on the lookout for oh, an actual, an actual Jinder a movement. Ah, there you go. The movement of Jinder. There you go. He's going to be moving it. Uh, I can't believe Jinder just spawned this entire universe. Just, 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 just. Ah, you see what I mean? We think FAM screens by having a cannibal chef going around and basically uh, writing out people. That's a nice way of putting it. Then you have gender a movement. Ah, this is this is this is this is some anime stuff. Good shit. Good oh, yeah. shit. Uh, continuing on from some of the stuff we've been talking about here, some uh, Israel asked on Twitter: Will we ever see characters from both FAM and JM on the same show? Uh, nah, obviously, like we mentioned, we'll see different versions of the same characters in each universe appear. Uh, but in terms of, like, actual characters being on the same show, you know, it's not really possible. They are in separate universes. Um, but, you know, of course, never say never. There's a, a whole world of uh, possibilities, kinds of content that we could... Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be to where I... Uh, let's give an example. Uh, if you want to touch up on Rom, right? I don't think... Rom Buster in FAM is uh, going to be, or would be, in any case, uh, JAM with the same character. Because uh, that's the whole point. It's a different universe. Because if you have two characters in two different universes, but they are the same character, then it just p puts up a question like, wait, are they in actually in two different universes or whatever? Like, you, you, you know, you have, to, I, I know we're crazy, but we're consistent. You know what I mean? So it has to be uh, a narrative to where people can absorb and understand clearly without you know, providing any, uh, you know, holes in the, in the story or in the narrative. Yeah, exactly. If you just saw, like, the JAM version of Cameron Bash just pop up in FAM, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, we at least want everything. <laughs> at least that. Listen, like I said, we're crazy, but we're consistent, all right? So if you're going to join the ride and basically see the both shows, both FAM and JAM, 
you might not like some of the choices or direction for some characters here and there. Obviously, there's always going to be that. But what we can guarantee you is you're not going to see stupid plot holes, all right? That's one thing we did with FAM for three years is that I really never saw anybody in the bookings that we did and the papers that we did camp point out how can this be if you did it? Like nothing, nothing. We basically, and that's what we did because we spent like years planning ahead and making sure we tackle any possible plot hole and we, uh, we, we addressed it immediately with content and a scene or whatever it is and everything just went together and expect the same thing for both JM and FAM moving forward. So Rom, no, no, um, no plot holes. So no, like any, any like alliances. You know, if you bring a new guy in and and he gets betrayed, none of that stuff's gonna happen. Like just if I'm bribed up, enough, squash them. listen, listen, all that goes out the window once you give me a case of Red Bull. I don't care about narrative at that point. I don't care. Just give me something. To, <laughs> it's all about the money and the Red, Red Bull. Bull. Right. Yeah, money Red and Bull. the Red Bull and the cheese and all of that stuff. Listen. This is all oh, fun, but trust me, Red Bull is just ecstasy, my man. Okay. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. Damn right. Yeah, same. I'm the best GM out there. Uh, another question for us. Ryan Hunter asks, why is Stigma so handsome? Because, uh, because, uh, well, he, he cheated. He freaking hacked his face. He's a freaking graphics designer. What do you think? He right now... He's photoshopping his own face live on camera. This is what he does. <laughs> I'm just doing a deep fake of someone else. I don't know. Just don't trust. If I did that, person. I would have picked something better than what I've got right now. I hide behind the glasses because I'm like, no. No, that's just a cover up. <laughs> that's just a cover up. Yes, yeah, just you trying to remain. Oh, I'm still hunting. Now nah, you we, look at your hands right now. They're on the keyboard, and moving the mice here and there just to do a deep fake. Ah, not even have on to you. <laughs> um another question Ryu asked on Twitter, how are community days gonna be streamed? So uh still working out exactly how those are gonna work and by the how we we, we mean just sort of the content of it. Currently what we're thinking is uh every community day we would like to start it out with like a little bit of a talk show. Get a couple of members from the FAM side of things, and then a couple of members from the JM side of things, and uh, yeah, just do like some sort of talk show, some sort of game show, some sort of activity, rather than just like a straight up interview, a straight up uh, Q and A or anything like that, because uh, I feel like those could get a bit boring over time. Have something a little bit more interactive, still something that you can uh, watch and learn about these people, uh, but at the same time, it's uh, we. we turn into a little bit of a game uh and then from there do something where we're playing and interacting with you guys uh with some sort of video game whether that be uh wwe games or whether that be something outside of wwe games like fortnite or fall guys or uh call of duty or whatever the case may be uh there's a whole range of possibilities um yeah, that's sort of uh, the idea. That's sort of the thinking right now. Uh, those will be streamed on this Twitch channel as opposed to the uh, YouTube channel. We don't want to follow that up too much with that kind of stuff. So that'll be over here on this Twitch channel. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm uh, particularly excited about the part about uh, speaking to people and getting to know people, getting to learn about people because I'll be there speaking to uh, a lot of people that I'll probably not have spoken to before or spoken to in uh, a long time as part of FAM, so be a nice little opportunity. Um, yeah, dude, like I said, the content we have, I think this goes back to the content question too, right? So Yeah, yeah, kind of. This is very exciting because I'm going to be frank. Uh, the past year for me has been difficult. I'm not talking about COVID because, yes, it didn't have an effect, but call-wise or WWE games-wise, it's been struggling because, again, the growing pains of FAM, I'll be frank. We had to go through a lot of stuff, and there was literally not much enjoyment outside of, uh, or much or much activity, rather, outside of trying to make this show come out. And eventually, now, finally, we're going to have to pay off one year later. You know, I did uh, I still want to punch myself. Ah, FA coming out March 2020. Oof. Typo right there, March 2021. Ugh. Uh, but anyway, the whole point is that finally, now, I'm going to do something that's just going to put a smile on my face when I 
think about the community because you know this past year like it's been mostly oh, i'm gonna prove myself no let's just have fun dude and i think the community days are a great step forward into making that feel like the old style because back in the day remember cam even you were how old were you 14 15 when you came on mark streams you were having a blast with your dorky self and we were laughing at you we were all having fun so hopefully now we get the same mindset the same mentality and hopefully just have a good old blast let's just go back to the way things were with the community actually being a fun community and cancel twitter too while we're at it <laughs> yeah no that's what it's all about it's just about good times having fun as a community and just uh, just interacting with each other. And I can't wait to do for it. And I can't wait to go back and dive in that pool of, of joy. Because, uh, yes, doing shows is... is a, it, when the shows come out, that's the payoff. When the reception comes out and you're overwhelmed with, like, oh, you did a great job, whatever, and you get all these views, fantastic. But, man, that's just such a long time, especially with the work that goes into it. Stigma, how long did it take you to make the street fight? One year. One year. So I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> well, sure no, you're... not one year, about a year. Uh, it took most of 2020. It was from, I was talking about it um, roughly about this time last year, and then I went in to kind of record the scenes. Um, so ideally, I, I started making it just a bit out of lockdown. We went into full lockdown. I think it was the 22nd. Was it the 20, 23rd? March 23rd? I don't know. March, no, it was the 27th, I think. I think, that we went into lockdown um, over here. So when full lockdown, that's kind of where I just was like, well, I don't know when I'm going to be working again. Let's just get right into it and get it done. Um, and yeah, like just obstacle after obstacle. So it took longer than it should. It should have took me about four months at the most. If, uh, maybe that's been too much, but it actually took me double that, like about eight months, I think. I mean, let's say, let's say even if it took you four months, those four months were going to be nothing but pure uh, stress and just like, ah, work, you know? That's still, that, that's, the, that's the best case scenario. With the community days, we're still gonna be working and having, but but th these are just like, let's just have some fun with the community besides, you know, releasing the show. Let, let's enjoy the fruits and the people who support us in, in this way, you know? So we're gonna yeah. have something to, to, to just have fun with, really. And there you go. And you know, ironically, now that you mentioned it, March 13th uh, is actually, you know, the, I mentioned March 13th because it was actually the uh, date where Malta had its shutdown. One year later, you know, legit the same day, the FAM season premiered. So it took us legitimately a COVID era for FAM to finally produce the season premiere. Oh, <laughs> so uh, it wasn't a fun year. But now that we're at the light at the end of the tunnel, we're touching it. I would, I'm going to say it's worth it, especially if I came around uh, you two guys again. So, uh, yeah, especially you, Emo. <laughs> uh, just a quick touch on what you were saying. Like, looking back, you guys, you and Cam uh, did the Bury the Hatchet video about eight eight months ago now. Yeah, um, and look at the time ah. frame that yeah. that happened and, like, how, uh, how far we've came from there, you know, uh, how we're all together where it was just just from that, where you guys weren't, you were at opposite corners because you were bringing back FM, you were bringing back Jam. And then eight months later, we're, we're all here, like doing all this. It's, it's actually really cool. And there's it just shows there's a lot and we've got a lot to show. And you'll see like the mass of content that we've got that are just waiting to be released and still working on uh, to perfect. But yeah, pristine, pristine content coming the way. But uh, yeah, I want to have fun as well. This, this is this is what this is about: is to have fun and to uh, enjoy it. You know, I didn't have fun making Street Fight, but I know I could. It can be fun working with other people. I didn't work with anyone, so this is a good opportunity to work with you and Cam and and uh, mm -hmm. some of the guys that would be in the the shows as well. So yeah, and when it comes to release, that's when the party happens. When we can all sit back, enjoy what we've created amongst the fans and. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be dope. Oh, yeah, dude. Ah, just like you said, uh, pretty much if anybody who will understand this Dragon Ball reference, uh, Stigma, did you, did you ever watch Dragon Ball? Funny enough, the one show I have not seen. I know of Dragon Ball Z. I, I know Dragon Ball. I know the memes and stuff, but I don't watch. Right. I've never watched it. All right, all right. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll do a, a universal example. We're about to come out after one year training into like the vietnam jungle 
you know, we're about to flex finally, and we're about to win this competition, and we're going to have fun. There you go. And in Dragon Ball, for those of you who did watch Dragon Ball, we're about to come out after one year of training in the hyperbolic time chamber, you know, Super Saiyan and all. So, yeah, poor villains are about to get wrecked. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, pain. Just pain. I don't love Dragon Shame on you. Shame on you. How can you freaking how can you freaking run gender a movement something so anime and not watch the anime? Watch you. Oh, okay, okay, that's when <laughs> you go. Freaking children's card game versus eleven. I love it. <laughs> card games on motorcycles too. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we got one more question here from the Twitter round of things. So if you guys in the chat want to throw some questions our way before we look at wrapping up here, feel free to do so now. Uh, but yeah, our final question from Spectra: He asked, "Will FAM and JM have scheduled shows for certain days?" Um, not particularly. We're not uh, going to say, "All right, like Friday is going to be an FAM video and uh, Wednesday is going to be a JM video or anything like that." Um, the content sort of between big shows will be sort of just as and when it's ready for the most part. Um, and then when we've got big stuff to do, there'll be an announcement and a lot of the content around that will probably be announced as well. So um, if ever comes the time again where JM and FAM have a show ready to go in the same month, we'll do another thing like we've done for March. We'll make a big announcement. We'll have both shows announced to go out on uh, different times. And uh, and then both shows will come out and you guys can enjoy the glory of watching so much content at one time. You're going to be so spoilt. It's, uh, yeah. You're going to drown. You're going to drown. So that's why I'm asking why you guys want more because you won't be able to handle it. I would actually assure you that your Twitter notification, if you ring the bell, literally, you will not be able to catch up with the amount of stuff we're going to be planning for you. So when we don't have a schedule... But you know, it's going to feel like we're constantly in the works. Because we will be. But we it's not just us three, like Cam and Stigma alluded to. We have a crap ton of people under our wings just, just working their butts off with the shows and just content in general. So yes, it's because of these people that you're going to be getting the top tier content in the entire WWE Games community <laughs> under the channel the movement in a very rare, very hectic or very constant manner, really. So there you go. Yeah, so like what they both said, you know, um, I don't think there would be a specific day. We always kind of release big content on like a weekend. So I think maybe if that was more leaning towards your question of if Jam and FEM are going to release on a specific day, it'll probably be specifically the weekend, most likely, um, like a Friday or Saturday, um, just with like big stuff. We're obviously during the week, we'll build to these events as well with promos and trailers and all that stuff um and give you like the time zone when you can catch the show and and your time zone as well so uh yeah that will be provided uh, during the time but yeah no specific dates as, no specific so, dates yeah. on shows especially because if we if we put on a specific date for a show and we're not even halfway done with it trust me it's not gonna end well for anyone you know, not for the viewers not for the production guys so for shows at least we're not gonna put a date on that yet because I did that with uh, with a lot. Actually, I did that with again. Uh, gonna point out, FAM coming back March twenty twenty. Sheesh, you know, uh, don't do that. So let's learn from the idiot rock. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's uh, no, no specific schedule. But um, yeah, lots of content coming anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Right. right. So don't don't worry when you see coming soon because it is coming. So it's in the works, but. We don't just have a specific date, man. We're not making a video game here. We're making an actual a show. And it's not that simple, fellas. It's not that simple unless, you know, you don't want high-quality shows, which, trust me, anybody can do these days. But if you want the top-notch stuff, you got to have to wait for it, man. Just just look at Sigma Street Fight video. Need I say more? <laughs> um, all righty. Looks like we're going to be wrapping up there. No new questions in the chat. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us here, guys. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much uh, for anybody watching on the YouTube version of this as well. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully we've been able to answer any queries or concerns that you guys might have had about any of this. And uh, hopefully we've been able to clear all of that up. If you do have any other 
further questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section of the YouTube version of this video, and uh, we'll try and get to those as well. And uh, yeah, check down below to see if there's any extra questions that have been answered if you are also curious. Anything before we sign off, boys? I mean, usually in this stage of the uh, podcast, you tell me anything you want to plug. This whole entire podcast was just plugging. So, uh, <laughs> you know, not really, other than I will continue saying it week in and week out. All of you suck! And just because we are in the, you know, all of us, old school fellas, old cranky old guys here are going to continue being together. I'm just going to say for old time's sake, <clears throat> stigma, you broke these people's hearts. Why? There you go. <laughs> well, uh, I hope I haven't, but I just want to touch upon about the people that might have, might be a bit uncertain um, because of like the past and stuff. You know, just give us time. We're, we're working towards this. This is... Um, this is still quite fresh to us. It's only been a couple of months since we've like kind of really the three of us got together. So um, content will be arriving very soon and we'll hope to see you all there and hope you all enjoy it. That's that's all I really got to say about it. Yeah. Hey, one hell of a ride. You can find the links to everything Absolutely. on your screen right now. YouTube.com forward slash the movement X for all of the movement related <laughs> content. Uh, Twitter.com forward slash the movement XX, Twitter.com forward slash XFAM XHD, and Twitter.com forward slash Broken Fun Jam. You can also catch a lot of live movement related content right here on this Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Broken Fun Bash. And uh, like I said, all that's on your screen right now, so check them out. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for joining us for this very special edition of the Bust and Bash podcast, the movement fan QA. And uh, like I've already said, hopefully we've been able to answer. Any of your queries or concerns. Hope you enjoyed the show, guys. Thanks very much for coming out. Lastly for champ, baby. Peace. Peace.